Hello Cancer, this is Renee and welcome back to my channel. This reading, Cancer, will be your next big romance. Who will be your next big romance? So Cancer, we're going to get into your energy and then we're going to look at your person's energy. We're going to take a look at some characteristics about your person. And we're also going to see where this connection is headed. And then we'll take some advice. So Cancer, if this sounds interesting, stay tuned. If this reading resonates, please like and subscribe. <clears throat> if this reading doesn't resonate, please uh, take a look at your moon and rising sign. They may resonate with you more. Okay, Cancer, we have stay away from drama today. So, yeah, you want to steer clear from the drama, Cancer. If it feels negative, move away from that energy. Definitely. Don't start no drama. It won't be no drama. <laughs> stay away from drama. Definitely. Okay, what energy do we have for cancer? What is cancer's energy? We have karmic relationships. Orion energy. Polarity. Soul growth. Conflict. Definitely a lot of conflict going on. Um, but I feel like <sighs> cancer, I feel like you're growing. I feel like you want to stay away from this negative energy, but I feel like this negative energy is just finding you. I feel like no matter how you try to steer clear from it, it kind of shows up. The Great Severing, Mars Energy, Anger, Conflict, Softening to Love. Yeah, so I, I feel like you're really going through it, Cancer. I feel like a lot of things are going on with you. Um, maybe you're just coming out of a bad relationship. Or maybe you're just coming out of a situation that's leaving you very... Feeling kind of defeated, you know? Um, yeah, but try to stay away from that negative energy cancer um do something to make yourself feel more grounded cleanse your energy meditate um align your chakras do some chakra cleansings um yeah just steer clear of the negative energy okay what is this person that's coming into cancer's life what is their energy tell me more about this person what is their energy spirit this person is expecting miracles this person is very positive and i feel like that's exactly what you need right now cancer you need someone positive with a positive perspective to come into your life and uplift your uh, again, to raise your vibration, you know. Uh, tell me more about this person's energy, spirit. Tell me more about this person's energy. Helpful people. So this person may be very caring. They may be very giving. They may like to help people. Um, they may be very generous, you know. Um, I feel like this person may be social. And we have recovering. So this person may be recovering as well from some kind of heartbreak, from some kind of situation that has gone in their life, you know. Um, but I feel like this meeting is going to happen within the next few weeks. So very soon, very soon, Capricorn. This person's going to be coming into your life if they're not, if you don't already know this person. I feel like very soon they're coming. Um, but yeah, this person is, is recovering just like you. But I feel like 
this person is still trying to stay uplifted. They're still positive. They're expecting miracles to come into their life. Uh, they may be manifesting someone into their life. Cancer. Okay, Spirit, tell me about this person. What is this person like who's coming into Cancer's life? What is this next big romance? What is this person like? <clears throat> The King of Swords. Okay. So this person, whether they're male or female, I feel like this person is very honest. They're very trustworthy. Um, I feel like they're very smart. They're very intelligent as well. They may have a very intelligent job. But yes, this person has had heartbreak as well. Just something has ended for this person. Something has ended for them. And now they're they're recovering from that turmoil or tribulation that they've been through. Um, but they are expecting miracles. They're they're very they're very positive. Capricorn, um, excuse me, Cancer. They're very positive. They feel like something some good news is coming. I feel like this person is expecting good news. They're expecting it. Just like I think they're expecting miracles. They're expecting some good news to come through. They're expecting something new to, you know, enter into their life. They're anticipating a new beginning. The King of Wands. So yeah, this person is very they're very positive. They're very bold, creative. This person is also very charming, um, very fiery, very, they could also be very social, you know, um, but they have a lot of courage. This person is fearless. Even though they're going through some kind of recovery, even though something has ended in their life, they have so much courage cancer they feel like you know bad things happen to good people and they just move on you know does that make sense um <clears throat> they don't really dwell on the bad things they anticipate the good i really feel that about this person they're very positive very cheery i feel like they have a a fire for life you know and I feel like this person, they're strong. They could also be very witty or very free-spirited. Yeah, the Nine of Wands. They're not giving up. They're not giving up hope. They're still in the game. They're not giving up hope for anything that they want. They're just like, you know, these things may happen. I'm still, I'm still holding strong. I'm still, you know, in the battle. That's how the, that's this person's outlook. It's very, very nice, very nice and cheerful um, energy I'm getting from this person. Wonderful energy. The Nine of Swords. Yeah, they're not letting anything get them down. Even though they have fear, even though they have doubts, they're not letting it kind of overcome them, you know? Um, they're not letting it absorb into them. They're kind of shunning that energy, you know? And that's for lack of a better word. Um, but I feel like they're kind of not taking in the bad energy or the negative energy. They're kind of shunning it away. Okay, we have the Ace of Swords. Yeah, this person is definitely expecting some kind of new beginning. They're, you know, not letting the conflicts defeat them. They're anticipating something new coming through for them. And they're just patiently waiting. 
they're patiently waiting on this and I feel like this person while they're waiting this person is working on themselves they're working on their attitude they may be reading books um, how to deal with pain and loss you know I feel like this person is very intellectual they're they're reading how to take responsibility for how they feel and kind of move on from there. That's what, how I feel about this person. And I feel like they're working very hard to stay motivated, to stay cheerful. This person may also work very hard in their profession. Um, see, there's a lot of swords, a lot of wands. This person may be an air sign, maybe a fire sign, although there's earth here too. Yeah, so um, I feel like this person is staying grounded. Yeah, they're definitely learning. They're learning. They're spending their time wisely. You know, they're having a positive outlook. I feel like this person is really reading like how to have a positive outlook even though you're going through grief. You know, something like that. I feel like they they're really they're really into it too. I feel like they're they're highlighting, they're taking notes. They're writing down their emotions in a journal. This person is very motivated to stay mentally healthy, to be mentally positive, to keep a, a positive mind frame. Tell me more about this person, Spirit. Tell me more about this person. Yeah, they're anticipating a new beginning. They're not taking no for an answer. They're anticipating something new walking into their life. They're ready for this new journey in life. Um, They're risking it all, you know. They're risking happiness, joyfulness. But I feel like this person is this person is so positive. They're so positive. I feel like even though this person goes through things, they still maintain their happiness, their happy thoughts. Um, this person may tell themselves, you know, bad things may come, but they can be overcome. You know, um, I really feel like this person, <clears throat> there's a lot of happiness here, a lot of joyfulness. They may be surrounded by people who really support and care for them. Um, we have the Three of Pentacles, definitely. They're definitely surrounded by people who support them. They have a support system. This person surrounds themselves by positive people. That's how they're able to maintain their positivity because they only focus on positive people. They surround themselves with people who are like-minded like them, you know? Very interesting. The Emperor. Yeah, they. this person is very powerful. Very powerful. We have the King of Wands. We have the King of Swords. Uh, we have the Emperor. This person is very powerful. They they know that their, their own happiness is in their hands. So they don't expect someone else to make them happy. They know that they have the responsibility to make themselves happy. And then, you know, everything else will follow suit. This person is also very courageous. They're a leader. They're definitely not a follower. This person is well respected. They're well rounded. This person definitely may have a good job. They may have some kind of executive position. Um, you know, to be totally honest, this person may also be a writer or an author um, because there's a lot of intellect here. This person 
really spends a lot of time writing and reading. Um, they may also be a teacher of some sort or a professor. Um, but I feel like this person, they're very well respected. People look, look up to this person. Yeah, we have the hangman. So this person has a lot of wisdom. And I feel like they've gained a lot of wisdom from whatever they've been through in life. They don't let anything bring them down. They kind of accept the wisdom of the situation and then move on and learn from it. You know, um, I feel like they're still able to take a look at things from different perspectives and still totally understand where that concept came from and also um, put knowledge behind it. You know, I feel like this person is very intellectual, very intellectual. <clears throat> the Queen of Wands. Okay, we have the King of Wands the Emperor and the Queen of Wands. So this person is also very attractive, very loving, very fiery. Um, they're also very confident, very self-assured. This person has the attitude that nothing can move them. They're not moved by events. They're only moved by circumstances. And I know you may not understand that, but <clears throat> they're not letting anything get them down. Nothing at all. They're not letting anything get them down. They're just moving on from a situation. Okay, let's get some love energy. <clears throat> what kind of energy is Cancer feeling right now as far as love? What kind of energy is Cancer? What advice do we have for Cancer? Oh, okay. Okay, Cancer. Look inside yourself. Examine what is calling, causing you to feel this way. Look inside yourself. Examine what is causing you to feel this way. Definitely. What is causing you the conflict? What is causing you all this negativity to be surrounding you? Where is all this drama coming from, Cancer? And we have sexual union. Honor the place in one another where you are one eternal soul. For there you will find true bliss. Okay, now I get it. Cancer, are you having... A lot of one night stands or are you in a relationship with someone who you really aren't connecting with but you're kind of there for the duration you know that sort of situation I feel like you kind of putting yourself in a situation like I don't want to be alone um, so I'm with this person for a moment until something better comes along. I'm kind of feeling that situation for you, Cancer. And I feel like that's where a lot of the negativity is coming because I feel like you're not truly happy. You're not truly happy in the situation. Okay, let's see. And I dropped a card just a moment. Okay, Cancer, we're going to take this to for you on your side. Give thanks for the blessing of love soon to come your way. Know that you deserve to be and have all that your heart truly desires. Yeah, so I feel like where you're unhappy right now, Cancer, I feel like love is coming. You just have to be open to it, you know. Uh, you have to open your heart and know that the blessing is coming. Kind of remove some of that negativity out of your life and be more open to the positive energy that's able to come in. <clears throat> Spirit, give me some messages for this person that's coming into Cancer's life. Give me some messages for this person. Okay, we have time. You're trying too hard. Give it time. 
Okay, so this person may be trying too hard. We had twin flames. Your passion ignites. So this may be your true your uh, twin flame situation. And we also have when you pass from this world, you take nothing with you but your soul and the memories you have shared with those you love. Yeah, so I was really feeling like this person lost somebody, like they're grieving. And th that may be an indication that, yes, they're grieving. Okay. <clears throat> Let's take a look at these messages. Spirit, tell me more about what this person has been through. Tell me more about what this person has been through. Tell me more about what this person has been through in their life. What their current situation is. Tell me more about this person, Spirit. Soulmate. Yes, this can definitely be your soulmate, Cancer. And we have Twin Flame right here. So this person feels like you may be a Twin Flame for them. So definitely we have soulmate. That's confirmation. Confirmation of what's coming through. Okay, tell me more about this person, Spirit. Tell me more about this person. Addiction. So... The person that they're grieving may have, this may have ended because of addiction. I'm feeling like their situation, their circumstances, what's bringing them so much pain is due to addiction. It may be the person that they were with before um, was an addict or someone has passed that they know was an addict um, someone was addicted to something okay tell me more about this person spirit they're looking for a new beginning they're definitely looking for a new beginning they're very hopeful they expect it to come they expect it to come yeah okay this person may have unresolved wounds definitely and that may deal with this addiction situation um i feel like when this person meets you they may have a few unsent text text messages this may be from you or this may be from them but i feel like they're they're unsent there are unsent messages that they want to give you, but they just haven't, or you haven't. That could be either side. Tell me more about this person, Spirit. Blowing kisses. So definitely, this person, either you or this person has fallen really hard. They want you to wait, or you want them to wait. You don't want this person to pass you by. See, oh, hold on a minute. Okay, please wait. And we also have, you know the answer. So, those are the messages I have from this person. Hmm, very interesting. Take a look at this connection. <clears throat> Spirit, tell me more about this love connection. Tell me where this love connection is going. Tell me about this love connection. Where is this love connection going? If I don't drop all these cards. Okay, I think that spirit let me know to get another deck. We're going to get another deck. Okay, spirit, tell me where this love connection is going. Tell me more about this love connection. Where is this love connection going with cancer, 
and this person. Tell me more about the love connection. We have the Five of Swords, I mean the Five of Pentacles, and it actually came out in reverse. I feel like this is freedom. This is freedom. I feel like with this person, you no longer feel a lack of being left out in the cold. You, you finally feel connected, accepted, um, uplifted. That's what I'm getting from the reversed Five of Pentacles. I feel like it, it helps you be motivated, you know? Um, you're kind of disconnected at the moment. And I think that this love connection helps you to feel more connected, more grounded, more secure. Tell me more about this love connection spirit. The, uh, the lovers. Oh my God, I can't speak. The lovers. Definitely a, definitely a soulmate situation. This is beautiful. Tell me more. Tell me more about this connection. The Knight of Wands. So once it gets to moving, I feel like it's going to move fast. I feel like this person really uplifts you, Cancer. This person really motivates you to be a better person, to live a better life, to, you know, pursue more happiness, more fun. I feel like this person is taking you on a journey of just learning to be alive. You know, they put that fire in you. They make you be more active. They help you have more of a free spirit. You know, this person is creating something in you that is brand new. It's a new beginning. Yeah, okay. You definitely don't want this situation to end. You're ending all of your negative energy and you're starting look at this card this is the ten of swords which is endings and new beginnings right um if you take a look look at all this yellow here yellow in the tarot is happiness it's happy places happy spaces you know and just filled with happiness and that's what i'm drawn to in this card i'm drawn to all this happiness all this good energy here in the yellow and I feel like it's kind of pushing away the dark clouds it's pushing away all the negative energy and just leaving the the positive energy and that's how I'm feeling with this ten of swords cancer I'm feeling like they're they're pushing away everything that felt conflicted and they're healing. They're healing you. I feel like as they're healing themselves with all the positivity that they're surrounding themselves with, I feel like they're healing you and they're making you feel more balanced. They're making you feel like you are ready to fly into this new beginning. You're ready to move into something new, to find harmony, you know, to take control back of your life. Beautiful energy. Tell me more about this connection spirit. Tell me more about tell me more about this connection, please. Yeah, the Ten of Pentacles. Now we have ten ten, so that may be something very significant. Tens are completion. Tens, you know, once there's completion, there's also new beginning. So I feel like there, there's an ending. There's also a new beginning. It's pushing away all the sadness. But it's bringing in all of the happiness, the abundance, the, you know, happy ending. This is your happy ever after, Cancer. 
this is someone who's going to bring a lot of a lot of joy, a lot of contentment. This is going to bring in a lot of happiness. Tell me more about this connection, please. Yeah, we have the eight of eight of wands. So I definitely feel like this energy is going to be moving in very swiftly. This positive energy is going to envelop you. I feel like with this person comes positivity. Definitely. This person brings positivity with them. You know, you have no choice but to be positive around this person unless you're going to be negative and push this person away. But I feel like you're moving into this positive energy. This person, I feel like they communicate very well with you. Yeah, and this person gives you so much perspective, so much joy, so much caring. This person carries a lot of, of weight that they're balancing out, you know. This person is not only someone who will take from you. This person will give as much as they take. Very interesting. The two of wands. Yes. I, I can see your your future opening up and expanding. Cancer. This is something that you've been waiting for. You may end up traveling with this person. You may be seeing the world with this person. Or you just may be looking at the world through new vision, new eyes. I feel like this person gives you a brand new perspective on the future. They bring you a whole positive outlook on where you're going for, you know, what's to come. But I feel like it's very beautiful energy. It's very beautiful energy. Very giving, very loving. Uh, very satisfying, you know. <clears throat> okay. Spirit, tell me how Cancer feels about this love. Tell me some advice for Cancer about this love. Healing heart. Yeah, healing from heartbreak, freedom from toxic relationships or addiction. So, yeah. Cancer, I feel like this relationship definitely helps you to heal. Even the wounds that you weren't understanding were broken, you know. Even the wounds that you didn't know affected you. Tell me what Cancer is going to do for this person. Soulmates. Exactly. This person is your soul connection. We have that three times now. We have soulmate, twin flame. Come on now, Cancer. This is your soulmate. This is your soul connection. This is your partner. You're going to make an uh, agreement with this person. This is a soul contract. This is your forever person. This is love. Love in a bottle. <laughs> That's how I feel about it. This is your love in a bottle, Cancer. Tell me about this love connection. Tell me some advice on this love connection. Okay, Cancer. We have mask. So we have not showing true feelings. Hide. Personify. Pretend. Delude. And gaslighting. So, Cancer, I feel like at first, you don't believe this person is real. You're not believing this person is truly the positive person they act like they are. And I feel like you're very skeptical. You're very much in doubt that this person is real. But they are. They're showing you clarity, truth, revelation, solidarity, force honor, protection, 
power. So this person is showing you that this love is real. That this can be something that's very fruitful, very honest, very giving. This person is bringing you their whole heart. And they're being very honest about it. You know, um, they're focusing on you. And you have to be open enough to accept it. Are you going to be open enough to accept it, Cancer, or are you going to run away? You know, that that's the situation that you would be in. Do you want to stay in this conflict of drama, or do you want to move into this positive attitude? And I feel like that's exactly what this person is bringing you. They're bringing you where, where you have darkness over here. This person is bringing you sunlight and rainbows, you know. This is a unicorn. This is a unicorn. You're not going to find very many people like this. Um, yeah, so this is your reading, Cancer. If this reading resonates, please like and subscribe. Hit the bell and share, if you will. Um, and if this doesn't resonate with you, make sure to take a look at your moon and rising. Uh, especially with the full moon and cancer coming up um, later on tonight actually um, sometimes your rising sign can give you more clarity on the situation if you know your rising sign take a look at that um, but yes cancer this is what's coming this is your next big romance and it's beautiful it's very beautiful energy this is your happy ever after. Okay, Cancer, until the next time, many blessings to you. Love and light.